Hello, and thank you for joining today to talk about a new approach to improve product innovation for your business, leveraging the power of the Siemens Digital Industry Software Portfolio of Proven Solutions. Today, we'll talk specifically about the value of change process management, which is a key milestone on the journey to digitalization. Regardless of your industry, a common trend impacting product developers is that products are getting much more complex, comprised of mechanical, electrical, electronic, and software components. Do any of these issues sound familiar? Scheduled delays or non-compliance due to requirements not tied to product designs? Design teams that can't find information when they need it? Transition to manufacturing delays because of bomb errors? Or error-prone change processes? If you're seeing these issues in your business, it's time to rethink your approach to product development and face the challenge to become a digital enterprise. With Team Center, what we're offering is a roadmap, a roadmap to help you take the first steps on your journey to digitalization. We can help you digitalize your business with our fully integrated approach to product lifecycle management. Team Center can help you collaborate across systems, domains, and departments to help you accelerate product innovation, improve product quality, and streamline the handoff from engineering to manufacturing. Managing change is fundamental to every industry delivering any type of product. Each product that gets delivered has to meet customer requirements while staying on top of emerging technologies, and along the way, meet the standards and regulations set by different industries and regions. Successfully managing changes from the early stages of product development through manufacturing and execution all the way through the extended supply chain is critical to delivering quality products. Providing visibility across the company for every change made on a product is essential, and Team Center can help you track changes, enabling people across your business to quickly comprehend what has changed and quickly locate changes of interest. With Team Center, you can establish a consistent execution process, identify everything affected by a change, and provide downstream visibility and understanding of what changed. Mercury Marine uses Team Center to manage product change, along with other information and processes involved in the development and delivery of innovative products. In this quote, they note, Team Center was a key part in our technology change and our path going forward in terms of being number one in the market and on the water. One case is our change management process. An average change actually dropped from 50 plus days down to 25. Team Center enables you to reduce delays and improve product quality by establishing, managing, and executing the right change process for the job. It's important to note that Team Center is a four-star CM2 certified change management tool that enables structured change processes to establish process excellence. The Institute of Process Excellence provides guidance to design CM2 compliant processes. Since you may require different change process support based on the type of change, complexity of the change, or even the requirements of a particular group in your organization, Team Center provides flexible, modular, and configurable components to help you build those variations in your change processes. Lastly, Team Center's consistent closed loop change management provides feedback to help optimize processes, as well as support complete traceability for audit history and tracking. You can share the same views of issue resolution processes for identifying, analyzing, and sharing critical product quality data. CM2 is the global enterprise standard for change in configuration management. It provides a comprehensive methodology for managing the configuration of a product, system, and or service throughout its life. This is especially important as product complexity increases and companies are more and more reliant on supply chains. And with CM2, change in configuration management extends beyond design information to include all requirements for the enterprise, plus your product, service, and solution deliverables throughout your business lifecycle phases. Team Center can help you manage the real impact of even seemingly minor changes by helping you identify what parts of the product will be affected and who in the organization is the owner, all across engineering domains and departments. 
Cross-domain relationships and dependencies provide traceability to identify what other parts of the product will be affected, identify what people will be affected to ensure their availability and optimize the schedule, and determine and execute the optimal workflow and change process associated with the scope of the change. Here are the major mechanical, electrical, electronic, CAD, and software tools that TeamCenter is integrated with. We can bring TeamCenter inside the design environment so you can be comfortable in the system in which you're already accustomed to and then realize the benefits of PLM. Now, let's take a look at this from the perspective of a PADS electronic designer collaborating on a change with an NX mechanical designer. So, once again, you're a PADS designer. Uh, you have direct access to Team Center. So, right from inside PADS, you can access Team Center. And Team Center users have an inbox, which is where they get various tasks that are assigned to them. So, you'll be notified that you have this task that you need to come through and perform. And attached to the task will be a change. And you can see on there's a very nice markup that gives you a graphical representation of exactly what it is that you need to do. And so, when you look at this change, you have a nice markup that indicates, looks like you have to move a chip around uh, 10 mils in one direction and 15 mils in another direction. It's also a heat sink that needs to be replaced. It sounds like a mechanical change. So it looks like there's a multi-domain change going on here. All right, well, with this change, you have everything that you need to come through and, and understand exactly what's going on with it. So many customers go through a change request process and a change notice, a request of here's what we want to do, and here's some, uh, some estimates. We can cut, you can collect that information inside Team Center. And then change notices, well, here's what we did. Here's the change that we need to go through and execute upon. We've already agreed to what we're going to do. Let's go do it. So you can collect all that information in Team Center to give a user an understanding why you're doing that. That's also beneficial for reports. So now you can run reports and see what kind of changes you've had over the last year or changes against a, a, a particular board or a particular program. And then on the change itself, we use these different sections to collect information about the change. So what data is involved in this change? So there's what data is going to be obsoleted, what data has been revised, uh, any type of supporting information. So down in the reference section, we have the hand drill, you have the board. On uh, the obsolete parts, we're going to obsolete uh, um, uh, one of the components in there. So we have all the information that helps document exactly what takes place or is going to take place with this particular change. And so as the PaaS designer, you have easy access to that particular project you can directly open up inside pads. At this point, you would make your necessary changes, which you're not going to bore people with this video to show uh, making a bunch of changes. Everybody knows how to work pads and know how to make those changes. So the important thing is we bring all the information to you inside Team Center. You can open up inside pads, perform the necessary changes, and then come back in and let everybody know, hey, I just completed these changes, time for review. So once those changes are made, say back into Team Center, Come in, sign off on that change, letting everybody know you're done. Well, now that change is a multi-domain change. So what about our other users? So we don't have to worry about, well, we have one change that does this domain, and then, well, we got, somebody's got to go tell the mechanical people we have a change as well. Since we're using Team Center, single PDM, we can have a single common change process across, across multiple domains. So now our mechanical designer, in this case using an X, could be any CAD system, same thing, they'll get notified that they have a change to perform. And when they come through and open up the change, since it's the same exact change, they get the same exact info. Here's the markup that shows what we need to come through and change. You saw how we could capture the change request. It gives you an understanding of how do we get here, the change notice information, what are we gonna do about it, and the engineering order. Here's all the data that's involved in the change. Teradyne is another customer that uses Team Center for change management managing the product development of chip testing equipment across their electronic design teams. Team Center supports the flow from the electrical group to the layout group to the CM to reduce overall cycle time. Teradyne's improved change management drives faster cycle time, improves quality, and reduces costs, as noted in the statement. At one time, we were close to 90 days on cycle time and 70% reject rate. With Team Center, we enabled a configuration to be able to take that yield from 70% that had to go back to rework and reassignment, and we've got that down to 15%. Team Center's change traceability allows stakeholders to easily audit change history, 
You can identify and share all changes, including description, details, adds, removes, replaces, and originating changes. Review sign-off reports to understand the change process execution, including the various steps, participants, and their involvement in completing the process workflow. Monitor status and performance. Team Center includes pre-configured reports for change management that can be used right out of the box. The Change Dashboard provides a view to all changes over a given time period. It has summary views, open change performance views, open change process state views, and closed change performance reviews. Let's take a look at some reporting features for change. Well, here's a, a demonstration showing some of that. So Team Center out of the box has a variety of reports that you can come through and run. You can also use those to adapt to your own particular needs. And so in this example, you uh, could be a program manager, you could be a, a upper management, really you could be anybody. You're just gonna go through and view a, a change dashboard and start understanding what's going on with these changes. Where are, where is this taking place? Where is that taking place? And so these are, this is live data that you can come through and interact with. So you can drill down through, in this case, you're looking at changes by analyst, so maybe by a particular person, or the cycle time by a particular analyst. So it looks like Mark, when Mark files some cycle changes, wow, they're taking close to almost 200 days, or Kurtz are taking over 25. Now, obviously, that's a simplistic view. We'd probably want to drill down to understand why. So you can drill down through these to start understanding and get, get deeper and deeper into that information to better understand that info. So it looks like Mark has a bunch of uh, changes to improve things. Other ways, maybe starting by reason instead. So whether it's to improve or to prevent or to fix or some of the reasons you may have at your company, maybe safety issue, maybe a, um, a cost reduction issue. And you can drill down through those uh, to understand what that information is. And ultimately, when you get to the underlying information, you can open up that info. info. Further, we can read data from multiple sources. So this can not only be team center data, but data from other sources as well, maybe ERP uh, applications can come through and consolidate that into a single view. And ultimately look at the overall view, uh, uh, data in a table-based view. And finally, like I mentioned, so no matter where you're at, you can ultimately drill down to the underlying information. So in this example, maybe we're gonna go look at uh, changes to improve. And you found a change here that uh, Looks like you're saving a little bit of money and you want to open it up, see what's going on with it. And this ultimately takes you to the underlying change data. So right from that live report, you can get to the underlying data that drives that report. So this isn't somebody behind the scenes using some Excel spreadsheets and typing a bunch of stuff in. This is reading the actual data and presenting the report to you. Team Center supports end-to-end -end closed loop change execution from identifying the change driver, change proposals, change planning to physical implementation of the change. One example of a closed loop change process in Team Center is that a change request cannot be closed unless all the changes implementing the change are completed. Closed loop change management across systems and processes offers impact assessment where you can assess the overall impact of change to cost, process, and schedules. Holistic control where you can manage the change process, simple or complex, from beginning to end. You can leverage powerful program, workflow, and schedule management capabilities to ease the management of complex change. With downstream interoperability, Team Center Change Management interoperates to downstream systems like ERP, MRP, and MOM. Team Center is where you can do your manufacturing planning and simulation, and then ERP, MRP, and MOM is where you can do your execution with closed loop change management across all your systems and processes. Now let's take a look at how Team Center supports different change types to enable a closed loop change management process. A problem report is used to report a problem or an issue encountered where the solution is unknown. Problem report defines and describes the steps that lead up to the problem. A change request is used to request a change or initiate an improvement. It includes relevant information to facilitate a business decision. It can be tagged as fast track or standard track based on the cost, scope, and impacts. A change notice is used to authorize and control the implementation of approved ECRs. As part of our effort to support process standardization and quick deployments, we provide CM2 compliant workflows 
for problem reports, change requests, and change notices. The change notice process has support for both fast track and standard track change. This will provide you with a starting point for change workflows instead of building them from scratch. Based on your specific needs, these workflows can be modified to support your unique business processes. All right, so in this example, let's say you're the, the engineer who needs to update this particular bill of material. So you would have a workflow task. You'd be able to come into this change, see exact, this exact information on the screen, understand the problem, understand the impact, and you can begin resolving this change. So in this example, you're going to make a new revision of the BOB because that previous one obviously was released, can't update it. And now you can come through and use Team Center to come through and uh, make those updates. And as these updates are taking place, and actually I'll hold off on saying that just for now. So in this example, you're uh, going to take that motor and replace it with a brushless motor. Right, you're going to go through and remove a part so you don't need the uh, uh, spacer ring anymore now that you have this new motor. So come through and make a bill material edit to remove that. And so as you're doing this, I mentioned about the active change. So since you did this work directly from the change, Team Center knows, hey, you are working on that particular change with this particular bomb. So as you're doing these bill of material edits, it's tracking that information. It knows what new parts did you create, what things did you revise, what quantities did you update, what parts did you remove. Team Center is tracking all that information for you. So now that you've made those particular updates, when you come back to your change, it automatically populated the solution items with that new revision of the bill of material and that noter that you created. So you don't have to go through an update or to try to figure out, well, what is it that I did? Let me make sure I document it all. So that way somebody who's gonna come in and review this can understand exactly what was done for this particular change. Now, it's not just capturing the solution items, but that view, that change summary, because you told Team Center here, this is the active change that I'm working on. It'll automatically track and capture all those updates that you did in this nice season review. So anybody who's coming in to review this, whether it's as part of the change review board, or maybe even three years from now, somebody wants to come and look at this and say, well, what do we do with this change? Why do we do this? What's going on? They'll know exactly what was done. Okay, so we revised the bond from B to C, changed the lithium grease from 25 to 28 grams, uh, removed the nylon spacer, and replaced the DC motor with a brushless motor. Easy to read table. Everybody can understand exactly what was done with that. And that's part of that active change process that we, uh, that we have. You told Team Center there's the active change you're working on. Team Center tracked all that information, automatically documented the change for you. ZKW designs and manufactures front lighting systems for cars, trucks, and motorcycles, and they credit Team Center for its strategic role in their success in the market. This quote is specific to change process management using Team Center. Converting to Team Center has sustainably boosted the efficiency of the ZKW change procedures and further increased the company's capability to react swiftly and get excellent results. In summary, you've seen how Team Center change management can help your business. It helps you reduce costs by providing visibility for everyone working on and impacted by the change. It helps to reduce risk with flexible, configurable, closed-loop change processes to maximize efficiency with comprehensive change coordination across domains, disciplines, and departments, and to ensure accuracy with easy-to-access, easy-to-use change process management for everyone across your business. Now is the time to take the next steps on your journey to digitalization. Thanks for attending. You can learn more about Team Center by watching our webinars at Siemens.com Impact of PLM. Learn how you can get started quickly and cost-effectively with Team Center X Cloud Software as a Service at Siemens.com Team Center X. Sign up for a free 30-day trial to experience Team Center software that's easy to use, easy to access, and includes the most common use cases for PLM, like change process management.